Welcome, everybody, to the Joe Wins Project TV channel right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're here in the live chat, thank you so much. If you're watching on the replay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, today's little guitar showcase is the Hendrix Strat. The Hendrix Strat that Fender came out with uh, a few years ago. This is a 2015 made in Mexico. What can I say? I mean... There's not a whole lot you can say about this phenomenal guitar. Uh, I love how they got the uh, <clears throat> excuse me the upside down neck to give it the illusion that you're playing left handed like Jimmy. That's awesome. And you have the uh, the reverse slanted pickup right there in the in the in the bridge position that's supposed to uh, kind of I guess give it that Jimmy feel a little bit more. Than a standard strat, the way it's, uh, I don't know if it's the way they're wired up, the way it's slanted. I don't, I don't know all that technical stuff. So if you're in the live chat and you know, or in the comments, let me know. I would, uh, I would like to <laughs> find out what's going on there. I, I, I've read it before, but I can't remember, man. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I just get a guitar and I want to play it. And, and if it needs to be set up, set it up and all that. But this here was perfect, man. Um, American Musical Supply, once again. And uh, they knocked Fender knocked this out of the park. I re I do remember a long time ago that Fender, I'm sure the guitar nerds in here would know this too. That Fender came out with a Hendrix model at one time. Uh, man, was this? I don't know if this was in the late '90s or early 2000s. I can't I can't remember, but I know they did it for a short a short while, and the Hendrix estate put a stop to it. And uh, I don't know if they didn't get permission or I don't know. Uh, but I remember that for a brief moment. I'm sure you can probably find them on eBay, but they would be outrageously high, I would imagine. Pardon me. but So anyway, this guitar, how much was this guitar? I want to say it was like uh, $8.99, I want to say. Um, just recently, they came out with the purple color. Oh, man. I wish they would have had that when I <laughs> went to get this. Um at the time I got this, they had this and the black and white. And I love this color uh, because it reminds me, of, you know, uh, of the Strat that Jimmy played at Woodstock. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Um I'll get to when I first heard that in a second. But uh, so I've always been a huge Hendrix fan, man. I got his pictures in here. Uh, a necklace, this necklace, it's inside the shirt here. But this necklace, I got a pick and it's got Hendrix on it. Uh, always been a huge, huge fan of Jimi Hendrix. R2 knows that. He sent me that double DVD set of Jimmy at Woodstock. That's right, R2. <laughs> Appreciate that, R2. Um, so, 
you can't go wrong with this guitar, man. It's for the money. It's phenomenal. Um, a lot of people were, was giving it slack because they was like, it was made in Mexico. It's going to be a, a cheap, uh, a cheap model or whatever. You know, I mean, you always got those people out there that want to say stuff like that. And a bunch of my guitars are made in Mexico. You know, uh, pretty much 98% of them are. I had one USA model at one time, a Fender, and uh, I sold it. I uh, needed the money. We've all been there and done that. If you're a musician, you got gear that you sold that you wish you hadn't. But, you know, anyway, that's another story in itself. Um, so uh, what I did do to this guitar is I put locking tuners on it. It, it came with the vintage style tuners, and I'm just not crazy about those. So uh, I went to Guitar Center and got some Fender locking tuners. Uh, I think they were, <laughs> I was shocked. I think they were 80 bucks is what they were so but anyway i had to kind of redrill the holes man because they didn't they didn't fit and um so i did that routed the holes a little bit bigger and put them on and it was fine you know locking tuners man if you haven't tried that man give that a whirl because that is saves so much time <laughs> guitar plays great man when it when it first came out i was i'm getting one of those i don't care what happens <laughs> i'm getting a hendrix model guitar i'm getting it and i got it and like i said they just come out with the purple color and uh man i'd love to have that as well um but this is good this is you know i just wanted one of them at least you know to put to my little collection uh about the national anthem jimmy hendrix woodstock yeah <laughs> I first heard that, um, <laughs> man, this is, I'm serious. Uh, it was before I got into, into guitar. So that was, it must've been about 85 somethings. I got a, my first guitar in 86. Um, and there was a dude, uh, I went to school with was riding around in this, uh, Camaro and he had that cassette, uh, tape blasting in his, uh, cassette deck stereo of the, Woodstock version of the national anthem Jimi Hendrix did and and he was riding around real slow around the neighborhood because uh his brother it was a hand-me-down Camaro it's a beautiful Camaro his brother I think was moving out he got a some kind of job so he was a lot older so he left and gave that to his younger brother and uh, he was riding around and um it was awesome he had that thing cleaned up waxed the tires were shining and, and he had the windows rolled down and he had the uh, national anthem by hendrix just blaring through the stereo system and it was so i was like holy crap what is it you know not only was the car cool as hell but i heard that national anthem and i was like what I thought, who is that you know and i said wait a minute i think that's Jimi hendrix you know again i was like 15 you know late bloomer on the guitar stuff but that's when I first heard that, and I was like, "Man, I gotta investigate that." <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, it was a uh, really groundbreaking. And uh, Hendrix, um, you know, he's also known for burning his guitar and then crashing them, you know, breaking them, destroying them. Uh, but you know, before that was on film, I think that was uh, that was at Monterey, right? Um, before he had. He had done that before is what I'm trying to say. I've got a couple of audio books on Hendrix. It's very interesting. He had done that before it was filmed. So he had done that a few times beforehand. Um, but as you know, excuse me, and if you don't, the reason he did that, he wanted to upstage the Who because I think he had to go on after the Who. And they, you know, they destroyed their instruments and all that stuff. But Jimmy set fire to his guitar. <laughs> and they was all like, whoa, wait a minute. We've never seen anybody do that. It was incredible. So, uh, I don't know how would he'd be if he was still alive today in his late seventies, I guess, mid to late seventies. I don't know. I didn't look that up before I came on here. But anyway, so beautiful guitar. I, I love it. So what I'm going to do? Uh, we're going to pause for this breach. Uh, breach. Breach. Yes, yeah, a breach. <laughs> a breach of contract. This brief station identification. My God, I'm in such a hurry. I'm. I got to get out of here. It's like late. I should have, I should be leaving in like 30 minutes to go to work and I'm not going to make it. It's going to be late. 
trying to get this stuff for YouTube done, man. So we're going to use this guitar, and I'm going to play along with a track that David Stafford has put out there. It's, uh, I guess, like a little play-along challenge or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't recall the title right offhand. Please forgive me. But uh, So we're going to have this station identification, and then I'm going to play along with David's uh, backing track. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Thank you again to David Stafford. Thanks, man. It was a beautiful, beautiful backing track. Awesome. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share if you can. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps keep you in the loop and lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe Lynch Project TV. See you later. Bye-bye.